they get nothing easy. We understand that? All right, let's go. The Cascade Cougars have a reputation. Shoot her right here, Jordan. Out a girl. Good, good, nice job. One of our biggest focuses is definitely defense. Ever since we were little, Cascade has always been known for our defense. The Cougars live and die by their 2-3 zone defense. Good hustle, way to get on the floor. Good job. We have to defend. Good, Sydney. Good, Sydney. Pressure. Pressure. I tell people this all the time. We don't defend. We're dead. Good. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, good hustle. Coach Mike Sconz's defense-first approach begins with holding players accountable. The other thing that's a big deal with our program is simple philosophy of play hard. And that means floor burns, defensive deflections, you know, diving for loose balls that you need it, making the extra pass, taking charges. We live and die with that defense and playing hard. Hey, I'm not kidding you. Can we please hit layups? We hold ourselves accountable to be giving full effort no matter what the score is, even if we're up by a lot. I mean, he expects, expects us to play as if we're in a close game. All right, defensively, make it tough. I don't care what's happening, who we're playing or whatever. You do what we do. Got it? And what the Cougars do is win. I feel like they have a lot of fun in practice. Here we go. Here we go. But Skanza keeps us like in check. He'll let us have fun, but like we need to know like our purpose of being there still. Oh, nice pass. Originally from New Hampshire. Oh, that's a nice pass. Coach Skanza is in his 16th season as Cascade head coach. Oh boy. Good. Don't be a dud. No duds. Only studs. Over that time, the Cougars have posted a win-loss record of 329 to 67. Coming in, it's pretty intimidating. The program's so successful, so it's like, I want to come here, like, do my part, and he really helps you get into that role. Good, finish. You know, I want kids that will compete. Nice, Skyler, good power, Sky, good power. Get up. Good, nice, and one. That is something we drill. That is something we work on relentlessly, and I have had kids for the last, you know, 16 years that take pride in playing defense because that's the only thing we can definitely count on every game. Year after year, the Cougar defense comes through. Located in Dubuque County, Cascade has reached the state tournament seven of the last eight seasons. In 2009, they finished runner-up, and in 2018, they were class 2A state champions. Jump ball on the rebound. Grundy Center's gonna get the basketball with 4.2 seconds. Up two with seconds to play. Execute this, please! The Cougars were ready to defend. Rachel, tons of pressure! Wallace passes tip McDermott with the steal and is fouled. And Cascade sends their sophomore star to the free throw line for an opportunity to lock up a 2 a title. I just knew I had to make them, and I knew that if I made them, we would win. The seal it for Cascade. And I looked at Skonzo when I was walking down, and I'll never forget, he gave me a head nod. And I knew that I had it then. McDermott's 14th and 15th points put Cascade up four and victory within reach. The defense stood down. Listen, we are not guarding anybody. You're going to stand right there and run to your teammates and celebrate like you've never celebrated before. Let's go. I got a lot of sophomores playing. They go out and they play outstanding. Cougars are the 2018 Class 2A state champions. Nicole was all tournament. Uh, Jordan Simon was all tournament. Skyler came off the bench and gave us great minutes. But I'll just tell anybody who listen to me that I, we don't win the title without Abby Welter. Shots no good. Welter, the offensive board, and a foul. We lost one of our best players due to a rule infraction, and Abby stepped in. Cool Played a monster game in the semifinals and hit big shots and got defensive stops in the finals. It kind of felt natural almost, like this needs to be done, so it's just, that's what I have to do, I guess. Coming off the team's first undefeated season, nothing would feel more natural than for the class of 2020 to do it again. We've had so many goals in mind since second grade when we started playing basketball, so like senior year is never a time to quit. The biggest one obviously is getting to Wells, and then what happens from there is all we can do is play our hardest. Those four seniors have been absolutely unreal for us. They play hard, they're dedicated. They're the ones out there doing anything. I've never scored a point. I don't have a rebound, I don't have a floor burn, I don't even have a foul against me. Coach Skonza's influence extends beyond the court and into the bleachers, where state champions can be seen cleaning up, home or away. 
After every game, we go through the bleachers, both sides of them, and we pick up all the trash as much as we can. If somebody does have to pick it up. My mom was a janitor when I was a kid. That's how she paid for my tuition to go to kindergarten at Mary Lou in Goffstown, New Hampshire. So my mom's still back in Manchester, New Hampshire today, and I'm, you know, she's one of the hardest workers I've ever been around. And at some point, their basketball career is going to be done, and a lot of it comes down to being a way better person than a basketball player. Outstanding pass. Faith, way to play tonight. That a girl. Sorry, I hit you pretty hard there. I loved it. I would not trade my time here at Cascade High School for anything. Like the girls I've played with, I've been playing with them since I was little, so I'm going to start crying. It's, <laughs> I literally love them so much. And it's just... I've been very lucky to be here. It's where my wife's from. We got married. They really appreciate girls' athletics here, and they really love girls' basketball.